contact right. Trees. Okay. Contact left. Contact tree. Stuff is legitimately like two shit. I'm having a really hard time telling what's happening right now. Well, hell fire if it isn't. Oh my god, it's Steven Randall. Come up all the way from the Mojave Wasteland. You are a sight for sore eyes, old friend. How the hell are you? Took your sweet ass time getting here, if I may say so. He lives in a in a matter of speaking. Uh I'm pretty You is ghost! <laughs> Be snooping to him too. <laughs> Steven is ghost! Easy partner. I'm a zombie, but not a ghost. Did you have any more traumatic head injuries? I don't remember you being like this. <laughs> I'm pretty, you know. I Look, I got here. It's not exactly a quick trip. Yeah, I reckon so. We got a lot of catching up to do, but we best do it back at my shack. It ain't safe out here in the open. Here's a spot on your map. It ain't much, but there's shelter and some warm beds. Stop by and I'll catch you up on everything. Be careful now. Warm beds are my favorite! I love warm beds! Why Why are you a ghoul now, Stephen Randall? I got to get out of this goddamn cold, freezing my nuts off. Alright, we gotta clear the way, make sure Randall doesn't die a second time! Is this A? Ah! Ah! Villagers! Wait, no, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot that I wasn't a Russian in Afghanistan and I can't just murder people. Topical. That's not topical. I'm referring to the 1979 invasion of Afghanistan by the Soviet Union. That's too soon, man. Hello. I hear the Great Khans just packed up and left Red Rock Canyon. Always thought the NCR and them would fight it out again. Oh, news travels, doesn't it? Yeah, it took forever for it to get here, just like us. Oh! <laughs> cut it out, will you? Cut, cut what out? Jumping off the roof? Actually, that's a that's a reasonable request. I will stop jumping off the roof. Uh, where is... Oh, there's Steven. Took a while to get him... There he is. Here's a shack. Uh, what is the... Is that painting the weird thing? What's the weird thing? Is it this? Pray for Janet's baby. By Albert Breach. <laughs> This fall, Albert Breach, in association with John Goodman, <laughs> proudly presents a tale of unbelievable horror, unbridled lust, and arbitrary procreation. Janet's baby! Steal your senses for debauchery, time travel, and child abandonment as Albert Breach delivers a terrifying new chapter in his ongoing saga of the wastes. Will Al be reunited with his offspring? Is his child, in fact, the spawn of Satan? Has Janet abandoned Al to fornicate with demons? Find out in Janet's Baby. The prequel to Janet's Grown-Up Man. Disclaimer, consult your physician before engaging in intercourse immediately after viewing Janet's Baby. Side effects may include blindness, salivation, vaginal spasms, visions of Jesus Zimmer, syphilis, time travel, demonic possession, and or conception of the Antichrist. Please direct any legal inquiries to Ferret, Goodman, and Whistles, LLP. My name's Ford. I am Randall's number one killer, just so you know. And who the hell are you? I'm Zuck, and I feel like you're gonna backstab me later. You... You're the courier! Holy shit! <laughs> I, I didn't mean to come on as such a hard ass. I mean, it, it's just part of the business, right? You and Randall are the reason I got into this business. I read all those dime novels back when I was on the farm. Uh, told all about you in New Vegas. <laughs> oh. oh. Yay, a fan! Okay, maybe you're not going to backstab me later then. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't get into this business because of something you read in a pamphlet. It wasn't just some pamphlet. It's an in-depth account of all your exploits with a touch of dramatic license. <laughs> That's what it said. I memorized it. I was already a killer before I started bounty hunting. I'm almost as good as killing at you, believe it or not. I don't know about that. You know, I am actually kind of curious. What did those terrible books say? Did it say that I went into space and fought the Enclave? Cause he did! Oh man, they tell about everything you did. And it's completely accurate. Uh, let me get something, just a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sergio pressed the cold steel barrel against the captor's head. Make a move and she gets it. He muttered with serpentine rasp. Mm -hmm. With eyes that exhibited steely resolve, the courier calmly replied, You've taken your last captive, evildoer. Sergio trembled as silence ensued. 
When Sergio's sweaty fingers twitched, the courier deftly lifted a pistol from its holster and loosed hot lead, effortlessly filling the outlaws. Uh, I forget why I forget how he killed Sergio. <laughs> it's been years. It's been so long. I actually don't remember. I think we dropped an anvil on his head. Actually, did we? <laughs> we might have. This is how little respect I have for you. You know, how accurate is that? All of the details are in there. I mean, even Sergio's sweaty finger. What do you think? Most of everything you just said is a fabricated mess of drivel. You're better off reading real books. Really? Damn, well, it must be. Because you were way better than what it says, right? Yeah. They had to tone it down for the sake of believability. <laughs> yes. It wouldn't be believable if they stuck to the truth. Uh-huh. What do you actually know about bounty hunting? I know that we're only hired to hunt down the worst of the worst. So the use of lethal force is never in question. You have to be quick. Able to get the jump on the bad guys. Having a big gun helps, too. I think that about covers all the major points. Say, what if I was able to tag along with you? No. Watch and see how it's really done. No. I mean, I hold my own and all, but... I want to learn from the best. No. Well, I've got gunction and a sharp mind. I believe I would be an asset to you. Now, hold on a second. I think we no. should... Should take him. No. If we leave him here... Ah! He'll just tell everyone you're the legendary courier and ah! sing your praises. Is that what you want? Ah! You want an entire campsite of people like this? No! I think we should travel together, Ford. No! I hate this place. Yeah. What's this thing do? Is it blow up the shack? <laughs> you wish. Dog. New dogs. <laughs> dog named Cooper, eh? Goodbye, dog. Are you sawing wood? What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> oh, is he gonna start typing? Come on. Come on, do it. You know you want to. Do it. Those buttons beckon. Do it. Nice painting. I forget what painting that is. Jupiter eating his son. No. Randall. I only have one question. Are you willing to kill people for money? Oh, yes. yes. I'm just joshing you, partner. Had to ask, for old time's sake. Lord knows you've killed enough for the both of us, and then some. I heard about you taking down Judge Richter, Red Bear, and Sergio. Damn fine work by all accounts. Oh yeah, we got them all. I know you might have a lot of different reasons for coming here, but I want you to know I appreciate it. Fact is, I could use your help. My goal is to find Marco and kill the son of a bitch, plain and simple. We even got the NCR bankrolling us this time, thanks to Mr. Brookshire. Truth is that we're in a tight spot here. When Marco came to Frost Hill, he brought a pastel of outlaws with him. All of them a rough bunch. Pastel? I'm talking about the hardest, meanest vermin west of the Mississippi. Gathered over years of raiding. We ain't taking no prisoners up here. It's gonna be sort of like what we did back in Vegas. Except this time, we finish it. Together. Yeah. Marco has nowhere else to run now. It's gonna be tough, partner. And downright bloody. You let me know when you're ready to start. And I'll get you on track. I'd tell you not to distract me with questions, but I reckon that would be downright rude, considering everything that's transpired. Yeah! If you're curious, ask away. So long as you don't keep me away from my typing for too long, <laughs> I reckon somebody has to keep this outfit organized. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you some questions. Ask away. How did you become a ghoul? Oh, how did I become a zombie? Yeah, I can say that shit with impunity now. Zombie, 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 motherfucker. Uh, anyway, Sugar had busted me up, then buried me up to my neck in dirt, not far from some old wayside. Made me sick as fuck. Uh, there I am, wasting away, sun burning my head, thinking it can't get worse. Wrong. Fucking giant ants showed up, about to chomp my dome off. Neat. Right when I'm about to become a snack for the bugs, a pack of wild dogs comes running in. Chew up the ants, then run them off. Hooray! And I'm then... thinking, hallelujah for man's best friend. Yeah. Wrong again. Big alpha dog came up and commenced to hump in my face. Did it all night. <laughs> so that mangy fucker 
is making love to my ear oh my when God. finally I hear gunshots. Despite my impairment, <laughs> thought I'd finally caught a break. Dogs run off, but it was the jackals that found me. Cocksuckers had a real laugh at me, half ghoulified and covered in dog jizz. That's horrible, Stephen. Please continue. Well, the jackals shackled me and hauled me around and made me their zombie slave. They just assumed I was some random hobo in the wastes. I ended up taking a page out of old Marshall Cooper's playbook. Late one night, I used a fork to kill their leader, then grabbed a gun. Jackals are all pussies, of course, so they ran off. I did manage to kill two of them, though. After that, I got my bearings and headed north. <laughs> got my bearings? Holds up a bag of ball bearings. <laughs> yeah, they, they poached them from him. Why didn't you go back to the Mojave? Jackals hauled me up north to begin with, and I wasn't sure what was going on back in Vegas. For all I knew, the judge was still around. I was on the road when somebody told me Marco was up in Utah. Utah. Hearing that gave me real purpose again. Something to work towards. I got on as a caravan guard and got up here not long after that. I started to figure it was nothing. I'd heard stories of Marco dying for years until I saw him. He was outside town, had a gang with him. Deep down, I knew he'd be too fast or one of his boys would plug me first. I'd have to wait, but at least I knew where he was. I went back with a caravan, used my paycheck to get geared up, and that's when Brookshire found me. He told me that NCR had a stake in Frost Hill, wanted to fund a bounty hunting expedition. All they needed was some leadership. Mm -hmm. By that time, word had gotten around about your doings in the Mojave, so Brookshire figured I'd be a good fit to corral his gang of misfits. I mean, it's going to work, but sometimes I have my doubts about all this, the way things turned out. I regret starting you down this path. I mean, what a... Dude, you don't have to regret it. I was already doing it. <laughs> yeah. I got into this business because of revenge. Do you know what revenge is? It's a special kind of hatred that burns in your soul. Yeah. It can motivate you, it can keep you alive, and it can poison you. When I gave you that pistol, I put that weight on you, and that ain't right. To know that I put you in a place, in a lifestyle, to have you looking over your shoulder your whole life, it hurts. I already do that! <laughs> Oh, wow! I didn't realize losing your balls was a side effect of cool. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into, and I have no regrets. Gentlemen, it was a privilege playing with you. <laughs> Let's just get through all this before we start congratulating each other and talking about privileges. Jesus. Uh, so are you going to be using wanted posters? Posters? Only use for those things is to wipe your ass, not a damn thing else. Wasteful and stupid, I call them. I give you a name, you kill the motherfucker. That's how this business is supposed to operate. It it's keeps things organized and neat. Most of the time, posters are spread all over creation, and it's a pain in the ass to even find work. God damn ridiculous. You show me the man who invented wanted posters, and I'll gladly stomp his nuts. Very opinionated on those posters. Since when do you have a dog? Found him when we cleared out a raider den just outside the canyon. He was pretty tore up when we found him, but he bounced back real quick. Ain't the biggest or the fastest, but he's tough as an old boot. Feel free to take him with you the next time you go after a bounty. I'm sure he'd be a help to you. Oh, okay. What's the deal with Ford, actually? I want to know. This, this guy here. Ford's a youngster with a big mouth and a chip on his shoulder. I've seen plenty like him over the years. He ain't bad or nothing, but he is just about useless. Maybe you can teach him a thing or two and he won't be such a pain in the ass. He's right here, you know. Great. Well, I want to get after the first target. I got to tell you, I'm downright giddy about this. It's just like the old days. You excited too? Ready to get out and kill some bad guys? Uh, hell yeah. You better harden the fuck up when you go after this bunch, because they're killers, every one of them. The first is Garza, a Mexican sharpshooter who served as Marco's scout for years. He's a first-rate marksman by all accounts. Word is that he's in Buxton Mine, where he's holed up with a trio of hussies, the Amantes or whatever. I can't speak that shit. What? It's a crazy man with three bloodthirsty bitches. Enough said. Any questions? What else can you tell me about the women accompanying Garza? 
Garza is reportedly something of a ladies' man, so much so that he always has a stable of sluts on hand, no matter the circumstances. Women of the Crazy evening. bitches feed him, bring him supplies, even fight for him, screaming like banshees on the rag. Goddamn terrifying, <laughs> if you ask me. Then again, maybe Garza is smarter than all of us. At any rate, keep your eyes open for him and his manatees. You, you might be able to say zombie because you're a ghoul now, but you can't call women sluts. Yeah, screaming like banshees on the rag is kind of <laughs> offensive. If you're going to be running around out in that freezing-ass cold, might as well dress for it. Here's something I had stowed away. This is all right. Well, this just looks dumb. <laughs> I'll take it. I, I like my old jacket. Heard of you. Some kind of hot Chevy Mojave, right? No. Well, let me set things straight. I'm the fucking alpha dog here. Not that I'm worried. I hear you didn't do shit to help out Randall. Left him to get zombified. Fucking shitbird move. Got anything to say, wow. shitbird? Um. Fuck with me and I'll eat your soul! I'm the goddamn lizard king! I was just. just kidding around, you know? <laughs> Cutting up and getting to know you. Sorry for misunderstanding. That's right. That's right. You need something, Chief? What's with all the hostility anyway, shitbird? It's nothing personal. I just heard some crazy-ass stories about you. That one to see if you were legitimate. I understand the fact is stranger than fiction and all that, but some of it is hard to accept. Have you heard all the things they say about you? We did go to space! Uh, no. What have you heard? They say you killed some giant pervert called the Judge. Bust his head in like a bag of fucking carrots. They even break a sweat. I think we just shot him. Later, you beat Red Bear in a knife fight and threw him off a cliff, let the coyotes eat him. Yeah. Then you cut off Sergio's head with a machete. There are also stories about you killing mobsters, finding gold, and then fighting in some battle at the ranger station. To top it all off, I even heard that you took a boat to Arizona and freed a bunch of the slaves. You can understand how someone would be skeptical. I don't know if we did that latter one yet. I don't remember specifically what I did with Red Bear. I think I just threw knives at him and somehow stunlocked him. That's time for a fair fight now. Let's see this fair fight in action. No healing. <laughs> Where are you from? Hey, Fork. Back in the NCR. It's a ways west of Reading. Damn beautiful place. I still have family back there. Not going back though. Why not? Left there when I was 16. Turned my back on my father after a fist fight. I sort of drifted for a while before I came into this profession. I got word years later that he had died. We hadn't spoken since I left, so I didn't go to the funeral. Closest brother sent me a harsh letter. Told me I was just a drag with no real family anymore. Well, he sounds like a drag. He had always been dad's favorite little kiss-ass farm boy. That wasn't me. Still, you only have one family. I've worked hard to bury the, all those old feelings. Those kind of connections will make you weak. What do you think? I think you should go back there and kill him. <laughs> no family is perfect. And they can expose you to danger. Sad truth, partner. Savages in the wasteland will exploit anything you care about to hurt you. Just gotta stay focused on the job, I suppose. What makes you think you're such a good bounty hunter anyway? <laughs> yeah, a lot of that's just putting up a strong front. Image is important in this business. It can help you bluff people, avoid violence. Oh yeah, that's true. Truth is, that I spend more time planning my actions than actually fighting. You know what I'm talking about, right? Job can be boring sometimes. You track some slob for days, bribing and intimidating people for information. And then, when you finally find him, you have to be ready to fight. It's worth it, though. Seeing the light go out of some maniac's eyes never gets old to me. Neat. Okay, bye. Bye. This is so fucking amazing. I'm actually helping you kill outlaws. Man, we're going to be the most badass team in history. What you got? So, where are you from? I came up on the family ranch, West New Reno, uh, up in the mountains, you know. Uh, it wasn't too much different from here, actually. I was in the middle of, like, seven kids. I had to toughen up quick. People stopped pushing me soon enough, since I was a regular ass kicker. Uh -huh. Hurting bighorners ain't no life for a killer like me. 
I left the ranch a few years back, set out guarding caravans and hunting down bounties. When I heard that the famous Stephen Randall was tracking down Marco, I knew right away where I needed to be. It is my destiny to help you kill Marco. Why, why do you keep referring to yourself as a killer and a badass? It seems like you're overcompensating. I'm not overcompensating. I'm just <laughs> fucking good at everything. Uh-huh. I was born this way, so you're going to have to deal with it. Whatever, bub. No whatever about it. One day, I'm going to be the best bounty hunter who ever lived. Then, they'll be writing dime novels about me. You'll see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going to shoot for the stars, buddy. Quarter novels. Maybe full dollar novels. Whoa. Let's not go thinking big, Mike. Well, if- Ooh, there's a bear over there. And a man chasing the bear. Let's go help this man. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm all right with sneaking and stuff, but don't you want to look the bad guys in the eye first? No. Dime novels said you usually fought pretty fair. Uh, no. Greetings, bear. Time for you to die. He may have been our friend, though. Who'd you kill? An outlaw ringleader. Oh, good. He killed somebody we wanted dead anyway. Now, I, I forgot that I have animal friends. Well, you scared him away. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, wait. Hello, bear. Oh, Sorry yeah. I shot at you. You continue being a bear. <laughs> All right. Even the bear. Ahem. Hostiles 12 o'clock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. That gun scares the shit out of me. <laughs> You never know. Oh boy, oh boy. We got bad guys. At least you'll know when you're being attacked. Whoa! I know that was you that hit him, but I also shot him in the head at the exact same time. Yeah. And it kind of surprised me. <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> I love this gun. <laughs> I'm not even going to get a chance to shoot anybody. Mm -hmm. I did kill that guy. All right, Buxton Mine. Buxton Mine! Ah, uh, those are grenades. Buxton Mine. Marvelous. Ah! Shit, shit. Premier bounty hunter, everyone! I'm the best! You think they noticed? You think they heard? <laughs> they, they probably know. Siri of, of explosions? Nope, caught him unawares! Woo! Alright, that wasn't the target, but uh... Oh! Wait. Okay, okay. Going down into the cave. We're going down oh! into the cave! We're going... Bu oh, Bubba is dead. I did not realize the outlaws had a super mutant bodyguard. Anyone want to defect right now? Please say yes, because right now we're kind of outnumbered. You can do it, Ford. I believe in you. Oh, there's his ladies. <laughs> ah! Get away! Get away, hussies! Skedaddle! Get out of here! Women no, of the night, please leave me alone! No, they're attacking Ford. We have to save Stop him! Stop accosting me! Don't worry, Ford. Your virginity will stay intact! There he is, Garza! Oh. You're going down, Garza, for all the crimes you committed. Yeah! Now we rip off his finger for Randall. We're gonna, we're gonna get back and he's gonna be like, why the fuck did you bring me his finger? <laughs> <laughs> what does that note Vault say? 34 bomb squad uniform? I, I don't know. I don't remember finding that. Oh my God. <laughs> um, hello. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yo, it's an EOD suit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this should have a huge damage threshold. Uh, nope. It does make your explosion skill go by 20, though. That's pretty cool. You can make a completely bulletproof suit, but you know what the downside of a completely bulletproof suit is? Lack of mobility. Y yeah, you can just run up to someone wearing a bulletproof suit and push them over and then drive over them with a truck. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Why does this outlaw have Rue's memory in her inventory? Odd. That should not have been added to leveled list. That's a unique weapon for a yeah. for mod. <laughs> I'm gonna read that note. All right, all right. Oh, what's going on? Well, I wake up in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream at the top of my lungs, where the fuck is Marco? Garza, where the fuck is Marco? We're getting picked apart by goddamn bounty hunters. And he's off hiding in the fucking hills like some hermit. We gotta get organized or Randall will kill us. How fucked up is this? He tells us to stay put and then disappears without saying a word. I'm not saying we should go against his instructions, but I don't like sitting around waiting to have my finger chopped off. <laughs> well, we've got to take the fight to the bounty hunters at some point. I'll keep in touch, Ingram. I guess we'll kill Ingram next. What's going on? What's your favorite vista? What, what's your favorite outdoorsy location? Thompson Peak Lookout Tower in 
Montana. Montana. Yeah. You, yeah, that's been my favorite one. You mentioned how much you enjoyed that lookout tower. Yeah, that was really, I really liked being there. It made me real happy to be, to be up there. Yeah, it sounds like a lovely spot. And then when the fog rolled in, like looking over, looking over the mountains and just only seeing the tops of mountains peeking out and some trees and just feeling like I was on a tiny island in a sea of fog. Ooh. Yeah, it was really nice. That sounds cool. It was very cool. Randall, Randall, typing like lightning. What is it, partner? I killed Garza, here's his finger. We're off to a good start then. I've still got a long list of names, so let me know when you're ready for the next target. Finger time. <laughs> Classic. Huh! It's the saw it's the sawed off shotgun. But it's actually a regular shotgun. It's not sawed off anymore. Ooh. Uh, it, it's broken. Try again. Ah, uh, yeah. That's unfortunate. 